Hey, 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 y'all. What's going on? Welcome to my channel, T Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my chick chick Gemini. Gemini. And my beautiful collective. What is going on, you guys? I hope everybody's doing well and good spirits. If not, sending lots of love, light, and healing energy to each and every one of you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. I ask as you come in, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps us grow. It helps get us in the algorithm. And it's an energetic donation. So I thank you. Okay. Thank you all for your love, your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your donations, and booked readings. Those that have booked readings, I promise you I will have those to you. Um, from the time that I, the donation is accepted from 24 to 48 hours and those that have same day, you will have yours within 10 hours of receiving the donation and accepting it. Okay. So when I hit accept, then that's when the time starts, but I will have those out to you guys as well. And thank you for all your support, all your love, everything you guys, I just love you guys are so sweet. So kind. So my heart just melts, Gemini, it just melts cross watcher. But anyway, um, it's general and just take the messages that resonates. Please don't force nothing to fit. If it's not you and you're like, I don't know what's going on. This is confusing to me. Then it, baby, it's not you. Okay? It's not you. It's okay. But just let somebody else have their, their time. Okay? It's not all about you. Like I say, if you want your own personal reading, hit me up in the details in the description box below. So yeah, choir, come to the front. Come to the front. <laughs> One, two, three, oh, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, magic and collective. Check the sound and see what we're about, about, about. We are Gemini, 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 Gemini. We sing Gemini, 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 Gemini. Ancestors, Ascendant Masters of the Highest White Light, Pure Love. Thank you for being here. We love you. Give us the messages that Gemini, High Vibe, and Cross Watcher needs to know. What is currently in their energy right now? What do they need? But I know this right here was flipped on the outside. So I'm going to just take it because I do get that something from this as well. Um, you make the first move. So somebody wants you to make the work the first move. Gemini, High Vibe, Cross Watcher. I don't know who the hell this is, but they say I'm not making a move. You know where to find me. How arrogant is this? Are you fucking serious? But the thing is, you were waiting. You've been waiting on this person to the point where they didn't nourish something. They didn't nourish a connection. They didn't nourish a relationship. So now it dehydrated and got crunchy and burnt. But now they say they're worth waiting for. Waiting for what? For you to chase them? Is this this person I want you to chase them? Clearly they, they do. Talking about some you first. So you're not together with this person because this is the breakup oracle. And it says, I'm not making a move into ill. Oh, you know where to find me. So, wow. Okay, well, Gemini, they say you know where to find me. You got their number. You got their address or whatever. So they want you to make the first move because this person seems to be a little insecure. They seem like they got it going on. They could be liking to wear suit and ties, being suited and booted. They could work in a... I don't know, professional industry where they have to, you know, look good, smell good, all that extra. They could be a little bit of arrogant, a little bit. Spirit said a hell of a lot of arrogant to say, I'm not making a move. You know where to find me. This is supposed to be an emperor. So this person uh, clearly doesn't know your worth or who you are. Whoever I'm speaking to, high vibe, cross watcher, or you're an empress. You are a real deal, holy effing field. The empress empresses don't chase we attract you attracted this person in your life and they were supposed to make the move you know how rare and how hard it is to get an empress sir do you understand no he don't understand and he's sitting here he don't wait so goddamn long that the goddamn rose is on fire and it's it is withering so this relationship is withering because they did they refused to make a move they wanted you to chase them talking about you know where to find them. of course you knew where to find them 
And you were fighting them. I don't know what's, what's going on, Spirit. This is some retarded mess right now. Now this person's all of a sudden on the verge of reaching out. Like, for real, I'm about to confess my true feelings. Please be willing to listen. Does this look like that same man that's sitting in... Look at this. This look like the same man. Don't even look like him. Look, take a good look. Don't look like him. I mean, I'm not saying it look like him, but it look like him. This same man that had you waiting, or a woman, take it how it go, okay? But I feel like this is a man wanting a woman to chase them. So this is not a true emperor. They may appear to be an emperor. They may appear to have it all together. They may appear to have it emotionally state, be emotionally stable in everything. Making an empress wait on them. Not nurturing a relationship. Not Though this person just... <sighs> they're worth waiting for. They feel like they're worth waiting for. And now they want to reach out. And now they want to take it slow. Let's just take it slow. Whoa, 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 whoa. This time we'll take it slow. We're just ordinary people. We don't have no... Do we say we just trying to go... I don't know the words to the song, but... They, the bottom line I got from that, who was from John Legend, is take it slow. But they possibly took too slow. By not nurturing the relationship. So now you possibly are not even interested anymore. Because you don't feel like they were even interested in you. A grown ass, whole ass man that's very successful. That got their shit together that it appears. They want you to chase them. Does that make sense? Mm. Now this person's sitting here trying to silently make some moves. Why? Because they could be going through some type of healing energy. Or maybe you're healing. You're like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm healing. Okay, don't force it. Don't force it. I'm healing. And this person wants to force it because that's why spirits say don't force it, but they really want to force it, but they try trying not to force it, but they want a reconciliation with you because I'm missing you. I just miss you. They miss you. Okay? They miss you. They want to reconcile. They kind of, they might show, I don't know how this is working, but they're calling their friends because please help me. Bro, help. I miss her. Like, how do I get them back? I thought they was going to chase me, but this is a true empress. What the hell was I thinking? You're healing. Okay? You're, child, they ain't never met nobody like you. That was like, oh, okay, for real? Well, I'll just go heal. <laughs> I'll just go heal. No worries. I'll go meditate. Go within myself. Go get myself self-love, self-care. And that, by that only is going to be attracting love in your life. Okay? For real. So maybe that because you said, mm, okay. Well, you don't want to chase. That's fine. Someone else will chase. So I will have a true emperor. And now they're like, no! Don't! Don't do it! So now this person's sitting here talking about you some first. So they might want to pop up on you or you might get a surprise call. Because this person could be getting, you know, they can be making silent moves. I'm making moves in silence. Don't want anyone to ruin my plan. So maybe they're friends. I don't know. Something about them getting friend support. Fuck some shit up. But now they they making silent moves behind these friends' back. Okay? Because they don't want to F nothing up. They don't want to force anything. But they really want to reconcile to force something. I don't know. There's something about them not wanting to force something. But spirits say they should have forced something. I don't know. They should force a reconciliation. Their egos got them, and they're missing you. They they feel like you're you are the one that's worth waiting for, and they want to, you to practice forgiveness. Oh, okay. So somebody wants you back, Gemini. I don't know this. Whoever they is, this is not homeless, thirsty, busted, disgusted person. This is a person that's mm -hmm, they they got their shit together, high key, low key, high. Okay, this they. They look good, they smell good, they dress good, they could be in the in, um, insurance industry, they could be in the financial industry, they could be a CEO, entrepreneur, they could, you know, they, this man do look, okay, he in the suit here three times. So yeah, this person do smell good, and they got, they, they was in their ego, look how he got, he in his ego, thinking he looks so good and want all the ladies, because all the women's. All the low vibrational women. This is a low vibrational man. Um, not that he's a bad person, but the uh, the energy that they're operating in right now is very low. And you're healing. You're a healer. 
Okay, this person's depressed because, <laughs> and they're asking their friends what to do, how to, how to, how, I need advice about a relationship. I've been seeking for my friends for advice for um, our relationship. I'm taking the time to heal and accept love. I know I deserve. That's you. That's what I'm saying. You say, okay, well, fine. I mean, I don't need you to chase me. I love myself. I have enough love for me and for you and for everything else because I'm tapped into one source. That, but that is nothing but love. That's all you know how to do is love. But you're not going to be chasing after nobody. Like, that's a low self-esteem, insecure person that wants you to chase them. Why do you want them to chase you? Or you want them to come to you and, 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 and sup and connect and grow and heal and become a unity and a couple they didn't want that. They they, they was thinking about, I'm here, materialistic type energy. This man is material. And there's nothing wrong with, like, nice things, okay? But when you put it precedence over love or anything that really matters, then that's, that's an issue, okay? Now this person wants to reconnect with you, okay? They miss you so much to the point where they feel like they want to come rush in and force it. But they know they have to take their time and, and, and kind of like gradually ease their way in. Okay? Because right now, this is the energy that you're in. <laughs> but I, you're in your, I want my freedom to pursue my own happiness right now. That's where you're at. That's where this healing comes through. Because clearly, you were, I mean, when you go into a relationship, that's supposed to be happy. That's supposed to be a good time, like a good I don't know, a good learning experience, so to speak. But this person was not healed. And they wanted to act like they were free. Yeah, because they were too busy catching themselves up in love triangles. Wanting to be the man. This person could be bald-headed, okay? Yeah, they could be bald-headed, a low cut, a fade. I don't know, they could have, I don't know. But they like, they like attention. And I've been seeing someone else and I'm having trouble choosing. So you decided, okay, I'm not going to be in competition because I'm not, I mean, I'm the choice. Why would I compete with when these hoes over here don't compare? You would never. So I'm going to go heal, heal even more and get more blessings. Now you done dropped this person like a bad habit. And now the point is, because they were so used to being, oh, Casanova, being a Casanova, being a lover's boy, being a playboy. Oh, I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. Just crushing it up, crushing up the game. Now they can't even move on from you because you done drop them. That's unusual. They they can't get over that part because these because hoes don't drop. They don't get dropped. Okay, they do the dropping and the popping. <laughs> they do. Okay, so now you got this person feeling helpless. They feel I feel like trapped by my circumstances and there's nothing that I can do. This is interesting. So we are gonna figure out why the hell they feel helpless now. And then it says, it doesn't matter how far I run, my heart always runs back to you. So is this like, this person has a fear of commitment. They are like, this is, this, this is a low self-esteem for you to be having all these men and women to validate who you are and how good you look and tell you you're special and pump you up and yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, this person, you was, this person came to you to be healed. You were the example showing them how to heal. But now they're asking friends. I don't know. They can't. Their friends ain't even healed, child. So they're going to try to give advice to how they're going to fix the relationship with you. And they feel like this person was trying to control you or have some type of hold or mental hold or physical or something on you, baby. Somebody wanted to hold you close to their chest, not having you leave. Okay, and now they're stressed out because they're on the verge of reaching out to you because you're not reaching out to them because they want you to be first. But no, you like, no, sir, you first. And I heard ladies first, though. See, no, no, man, you do that, okay? Okay, ladies don't do for hoes do for hoes chase. That's who's going to chase hoes, hoes first. And that's what you want a divine feminine or this masculine energy to be, chasing you. But I feel like it's a masculine because women, I mean, you ain't supposed to be chasing no man like that. Now, I'm not saying go for not going for what you want and what you desire. But what you desire don't desire you or showing you equal reciprocity. Then you let that shit go and you did that. That's when you learned the lesson of your healing journey. And I feel like there could be some financial um, 
blow up or glow up for you, but this person, child, look. This man is mad, pissed off. They feel like you're pushing their buttons because you ain't, you ain't reaching out. You being silent right now, okay? They're not, you're not reaching out to reconcile. And they say, and then he's saying, or she, whatever. Um, I never missed anyone in my life as much as I missed you. Yeah, they haven't missed anyone, so you're the first one. That this person possibly has never really been in love before because they're so used to getting their ego stroke. They ain't got time. Like I said, they do the dropping and the popping. They don't get dropped and popped, okay? <laughs> but now they're like, oh, no, I'm feeling so helpless from my circumstances. Oh, I can't move on. I can't, I can't move on. And Gemini, they, somebody could be pushing your buttons, okay, because they mad, because they buttons is pushed. Child, they could be getting caught up in drama right now, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? What is this? <laughs> Mm -mm. Okay, that flipped over. Jealousy. This person can be extremely jealous that you got away. It says jealousy. You got away. Okay? So you got away. And somebody is jealous of that, Gemini. And what's this card flipped over over here? To the angry and I can't move on. I love you. Oh, wow. I felt it in my heart space too, baby. This person loves you. And I know it seems crazy, but... Like I said, I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. And they got these hoes and things over here. The 304s and stuff chasing them. Don't leave, Billy. Don't leave, Tommy. Don't leave. Don't leave me. Don't leave me, Fernando. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Okay, they like that. Okay, but you not the one. You like, mm, -mm goodbye. I'm going to go heal. That's what you said, and you did it. And you're pushing, this person thinks you're pushing your their buttons because they can't move on from you, no matter how hard they try. And they still having other relations and with other people. That's not getting them off, it's not getting you off their mind. And now they're like, I just miss them so much. I don't know, I don't know. Like, this person could be losing their shit. I'm just saying, they could look at them. They could be planning some type of reconciliation. They're telling themselves, don't force it. Don't force it. Don't, you know, because they really, really are anxious to be with you. Okay? They're jealous. They're jealous that you got away. Okay? They didn't even try to stop you. They just let you go. Oh, well, I mean, so it says, I get jealous when I think of anyone else having you and stealing you away. You're the one that got away. I look for you in the next lifetime. Okay, so this person was getting ready. So this person's weird. I don't know if they really want you, want you, because it looks like an ego type thing, and you busted somebody's ego. Because it says you're the one that got away. You're the you're the three o four. That yeah, I'm not saying that. They said that 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 you the three o four that got away, and I'll look for you in the next lifetime. They treated you like a mannequin. They I mean, they didn't treat you like you were human or real or anything. And this person gets jealous when they even think about anyone stealing you away from them. Okay? They got somebody in the background that was sad. Okay? But you in the background, you're the one who's healing. You don't give a damn. Okay? This person gets jealous. So this is a jealous lover. Okay? That likes control. Because this is control. Control! You do what you want to do, whoever you are that's wearing the red dress, male or female, it don't matter. You do what you want to do, you're in control, you're healing, and you're pushing somebody's buttons because they say they can't move on from you, they love you, but this person can't even be trusted. Oh my God, burning up roses, not nurturing, because they still, they want to jump into some type of like relationship relationship i feel like they need to start that's why they say don't force it because they want to start off straight off in a relationship like ch ch uh, either more or something to hold you back so you can't get away an apology is coming up they might ask you for a proposal a hand in marriage or something but this is weird because sir you need to start off as friends or you need to get to know this person you don't show this person you didn't even nurture this shit so how are you going to go from 0 to 120 it right away? Okay, because you're insecure and you're getting angry because somebody's not reaching out to you. They're healing. You're feeling like the more they heal, the more they're going to get away from you. 
This person, they feel like you're incomparable to anybody else. I don't know. Has this person been married numerous times? Some of them could be. I don't know. But they feel like you're incomparable. You're not like any other. Okay? And they have a, they're have they going through a lot of burdens, feeling overwhelmed that I have a lot going on in my life right now. And that's another reason they need to take it slow. Because they need to fix their, their life and their problems. Okay? What they got going on. But this person is extremely arrogant. Yeah, they're a boss man, a boss daddy, somebody that's suited and booted. And they're worried. Okay? They're extremely worried that this breakup, about this breakup. Mm-hmm. And they want to fight for it. So now they're drinking now. I don't know. They're just stressed out about you, Gemini. And they feel like you let them go because spirit told you to let them go. So you didn't let them go because you wanted them to let them go. You was trying to nurture the relationship, but it takes two to nurture the relationship. And you wasn't trying to force it. I'm sure you were, I don't know, maybe you were, mm, uh -uh, I don't know. I mean, you were showing your interest. That's what I'm getting. You were showing interest in this person. You were showing that you were attracted to this person, that you wanted to date this person, but they, because they were so confused and had, were trapped up in love triangles and situations, they put you on hold. And so you were like, well, fuck that shit. Like, uh-uh, because you two, whoever you are, you grown. You know what you want. You know who you are. You ain't got time to go back and forth for games. You wasn't trying to ask for a marriage immediately, I don't feel. It's just like, let's just see. Let's just, but this person's saying they love you now. And they miss you. So they went from not wanting a relationship to wanting to marry you. Ain't that something? That's crazy as hell. At least say, let's get back into my good graces and start off as friends. But this person, I don't know. They feel like they're going to be erased soon because you're learning lessons or you're healing. Okay, you're not reaching out because you did let them go. You're like, why? Okay, they thought you were going to chase. To a player, that's you let them go. And this person's pissed off that you let them go, Gemini. Okay, let's go get the tea and see what's going on in the tea. What's going on in the tea tea? This person name could begin with a T, start with a T, whatever. I did shuffle these. Okay, what else, Spirit? Let's, let's tell us the, the tea. This person's, I told you, this person's pockets are loaded. And they are salty that you didn't chase them. Because you're not no gold digger. And I ain't saying she a gold digger. Uh, but she ain't messing with no bro, bro, bro. Come down, girl. Get him. Was it go, go, <laughs> go ahead, girl. Go ahead, get down. Go ahead, down. Oh, cause he was a being a boy toy. This person was being a boy toy. Look, this is boy toy. They was playing too much, having all these three o fours and everything. Okay, didn't make time for you, cause they was too three o four in it up. Possibly reconciling with hoes and everything for real, <laughs> for real. And so now this man is salty. His deep, this man with deep pockets are salty because they done got in too deep. They done trapped themselves. Okay? Being a boy toy. Mm-hmm. What else? Because whatever they was thinking, that shit failed. That shit failed. Okay? What else, Holy Spirit? I should do a members only. Members only. I'm going to do a um, video for y'all next. But anyway, somebody got betrayed in this Ponzi scheme with one of these hoes. Okay. Oh, that's I, that didn't come in reverse. It, it it got or did it come in reverse? Spirit, spirit say take it in reverse because somebody did not get betrayed. That's why the Ponzi scheme didn't work. Somebody was trying to betray you, or they wanted you to feel betrayed, or they wanted you to chase them. Like, no, choose me, choose me. You know, but because their ego is too big to fail. Okay, they wanted you to chase them for their ego. They need to check that. That ego got them fucked up. That's why they missed out on the love of one of the loves of their life. They, that ego want you to chase them. This person was too lazy. They didn't put anything in the relationship. Being a dog. Dog catcher. Dog catcher. A do the dog. So I'm hearing George Clinton. This person's name could be George, but... They can't be bothered to do anything. They Okay, so this person didn't put in no work. They slept on you. Okay? And you cut ties. <laughs> you said, okay, well, bye. And now they are in their emotions and feelings about it. You don't care if they had how much money they had. You're like, I'm not, that's not why I'm with you. That shit, you're expired and discontinued. You've been through that. You've been through that lesson. You don't care about what people got. You like, I want love. I want commitment. I want relationship. I want to grow. You know? 
And now this person could have a behavioral issues too. Okay? They could have a little bit of behavioral issues because you're avoiding them. Okay? Or maybe, yeah, are you avoided are you avoided a uh, um disaster dealing with this person? Okay, because like I said, I don't feel like mm, they overindulge. They did way too much, way too fast. They could be prejudiced and antagonistic. Yeah, they could be antagonist, antagonist, antagonistic and prejudiced. A bigot. They overindulge, do way too much too fast. Maybe they thought they were better than you because they did have money. I don't know. But honey, whatever's going on, their glory days are already peaked. Because you see them and they're worried about that. Yeah, YOLO, you only live once. So this must be, yeah, this is, mm, you, this, and whoever this person is, they think you're out of this world. They think the world of you. I'm hearing you mean the world to me. You are my everything. I swear the only thing that matters, matters to me. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Because you mean so much to me. Okay? So, yeah, honey, you mean the world to them, honey. They want to take that leap of faith with you. Because I feel like one of these hoes that they got with clickbaited them. Yeah, thirst trapped to them. Tried to get them, tried to do low them. Yeah, dirty money. Oh, wow, honey. This person is crazy. Maybe they got with a prosty. Oh, Lord, dirty money. Mm. What's going on with the prosty and dirty money spirit? Somebody got gaslit. Somebody got gaslit or this man was gaslighting you? I don't know. With smoky mirrors, so this man was getting gaslit because his pockets were loaded. Somebody tried to even, they peep process some hoe that he was dating. I'm going to just keep it like that. She was looking for a come up. She got a come up. She possibly got pregnant, okay, from this man and was like, bingo, I got him. And now, you know, he's stressed out about having this baby. Oh, my God, he's burnt out. Like, I don't know, he losing his mind. Something going on. He got with a burnt-out baby mama or a burnt-out prosty child that blocked his finances. So now his finances could be blocked because he always wanted to be in them streets, here for a good time, not a long time. And then think, think you're supposed to have unconditional love while he run the streets rampant, <clears throat> not watering it, not nurturing, nurturing, nourishing anything. And this person trying to do scare tactics, possibly arousing a fear and alarm, you know, ignoring you, wanting you to reach out to them, chase them and everything. This person is just unsatisfied and unfulfilled wherever they are. And they want you to chase them so you can fill up their cup. But no, they're held hostage. So they possibly got somebody knocked up, baby. And they possibly almost got an illness from one of these three or fours, too. Their finances could be sick or... This big spender could be ill. They might want to come. Ooh, honey. Just FYI, because they do like that that fast ass lifestyle. And they don't like, they don't like this person. Mm, I mean, mm, anyway. They may be ill, okay? And they might be trying to spend a lot of money on you. I would not lay down with this person at all. They think that money's going to get you. So if you don't chase them, they think money <clears throat> is going to let make you chase them. And I, I cannot make, they think, they open up their wallet, that you are going to, to give in to whatever this is. The spirits say, hold up, hold the F up. Okay, there could be an underlying health issue. Look at the mask, look at the wallet. This person could have something already. Okay, being the boy toy. <clears throat> I'm here and having unprotected. Look, love bombing you and all of that. You gonna uh -uh, don't link up with this person. They gonna get you sick or pregnant or something, baby. You gonna get stuck. Oh no 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 no. They gonna put you on a pedestal. They think this plan is too perfect to fail. But they don't know who you are, Empress High Priestess. Yeah, this person wants to intrude in you or they want to have a fling with you, child. They trying to plan out, but you done moved on already, baby. So keep on flying and soaring and moving on from this energy. Because this energy is not, uh-uh, they YOLO. They are for the streets, okay? They're not telling you they done got something from one of these one of these 304s that they was dealing with. Possibly, and this person could be in a cult, in an occult, a cult. 
Yeah, and if you get, <coughs> excuse me, and if you get with this person, long term it's going to be an endless roller coaster of ups and downs, ups and downs, like emotionally and all of that, honey, and you won't get divorced from this person. Yeah, this person's triggered or something like that, and they feel like they curse themselves through this one nice child. They, mm -mm. So whoever this, and you know who this is, so I don't know. For you, but it says a. I don't feel like too old, but the last whoever the more current energy for you, baby. This is that energy, okay? This is that energy, okay? A boss, daddy, CEO, entrepreneur, somebody got money, okay? They thought you was gonna chase them. You didn't chase them. They th they thought they was gonna add you to their roster of bitches and hoes and and, nin and ninjas, and they have a health issue. Child, hell no. Hell no. Oh my god, they got oh and it disappeared. The health well, maybe I put it back, but I'm gonna say the underlying health issue card disappeared. That means that they don't want you. This man is burnt out, or this woman is burnt out. Somebody burnt out, y'all. For my men, this could be a <clears throat> a woman energy as well. That's in her boss energy. That thought she was gonna chase him chase her. Okay, and honey, mm -mm, don't lay down with that lady. Mm -mm. She feel like you supposed to take the abuse or whatever the case may be with this unconditional love or something like that. But they for the spirit keeps saying they for the streets. They are a risk taker and they possibly pop pills or on drugs or on the influence or always inebriated. Yeah, they, they got click baited. Oh, that's how they got fucked up. One of these hoes and got them, clickbaited them. And they ran into temptation or fell into, they fell into temptation. Yes, they did. And look at them. They're feeling isolated and desolated and remote and alone. Because this man then got scared, scammed. So either the one of the hoes got him for his papers to try to get pregnant or got him for with an STDMD. Child and they come in, they they mm -mm. so what? Let me get the writer. Ah, that'd be telling me a lot. Spirit, what in the world is this person trying to do? What are they trying to do, Holy Spirit? What is happening? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, Spirit said you cut ties with this with this boy toy right on time too. So that's why they weren't pouring into and feeding into the relationship because they were having other lovers pouring into them. Okay, going raw. I'm hearing raw dogging it and everything. You already knew what they was doing. That's why you didn't have no problems cutting it off, High Priestess. What else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, you knew the secrets of... Look! You knew they was doing impulsive things and doing... Yeah, you knew they was investing in other options. You knew certain secrets. This boy told you was trying to hide secrets. Especially them being sick. Them being ill. And they also were sleeping with prostitutes. So they got either... Oh my God, I'm getting a headache. They possibly got one something from a prostitute. Or they were giving it to the prostitutes. Or something like that. Damn, invested. Oh, damn, damn, you know. They got left out in the cold. They got ill. One of these women possibly gave it to them. Or something like that, baby. Yes, for money. Exchange for money. Was it because this man thought he was the shit? I can buy my, I can buy it. Well, okay, go on and buy it. And that's why your ass is under judgment right now. Mm-hmm. So now he's spying on your ass. What the fuck he's spying on you for? Because you the bomb manifesting your own life, wish fulfillment and all of that. Okay, Aquarius, a fire sign could be involved. Or this is just you, baby, manifesting your best life. Okay, healing evolving being better and somebody is obsessed with you when you walked away ever since ain't no sunshine when she's gone ain't no sunshine when she's gone when she's gone when she's gone every time she goes away okay that's by bill withers r.i.p bill but anyway this person's obsessed with you and they are a narcissist. They could get violent at times as well. So you left somebody. When you went to go heal, baby, you left somebody. <clears throat> and that's what balanced out the scales, this alchemist. That's you, Gemini. You done showed up and showed out, you healer. <clears throat> this person didn't want to heal. They wanted to be in the streets. So you had to walk away and leave this person out in the cold, period. So, yeah. 
Gemini, that's where we're at with that. So you stay away from this. I don't know. I don't care how sad this energy comes to you. They are not allowed to come towards you. Okay? They're not being honest and upfront with you about their situation. They have an SEX addiction. Okay? That's why they got fucked up in the first place. Oh, I saw the uh, lovers right here. So, yeah, they mix fluids and juices with all these lovers, thinking they're going to balance them out, you know, but the more, their root chakra's messed up. That's the truth. Yeah, they was acting too single. They was never acting committal, committed. Even this is a married person, they don't act committed in their relationship. And this is part of their karma as well. Because you can't defile, you can't trick and lie to people. Even if you agree, just don't be together with them. Say, oh, we agree to be having threesomes and foursomes and an open relationship. <clears throat> That's no. You can do that, but you're going to go through some some type of karma. You're going to go through a tower, some type of judgment. Because that's not of a, the most high. You, that's of the him downstairs. And you can do what you want to do, but you're still going to have to pay the consequences for the choices of your actions. Okay? So, mm, Gemini. <laughs> the four of swords. Yeah, they need to lay that shit down to rest. Or they got laid down to rest. And spirit said, hell no, don't. Don't you dare reconcile with this person. They are ill. Lay it to rest and leave it be. You already knew from the first, whatever they were showing you, unrequited love. Okay, the tree, you like not the real deal. But now they fucked up and sick. No, Gemini. Mm -mm, high vibe. No, 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 no. They coming through. They coming through. It's a no for spirit, from you, from me, to us. <laughs> They're a traveling HOE. The Page of Cups came up and... They really want to reconcile and they really want to equal give and take with you, Empress, because they see that you really are the Empress, but they're not ready for you. Whoever you are, they're not ready for you. Mm -mm. But anyway, Gemini, I'm going to end the reading right here, child. You don't cut ties with this energy. They feel trapped by their circumstances. There's nothing that they can do, child. You dodged a bullet with a sick man. I'm sorry, or a sick woman. One or the other. Lord, I'm tired of these sick-ass people. Sick spiritually, sick, sick physically, sick financially. This is a CEO or boss daddy, okay? This person looks good, okay? I don't know. He do look good and he look... I said clean and healthy, Spirit said. But no. Mm-mm. No. Something's being revealed or some, see, something is being revealed. Either this man is ill with this prostitute's baby. Child, I don't know. This is crazy as hell. But it's a no. Regardless of the situation, it's a hell no, Spirit said. So anyway, Gemini, that's when you're reading. This person does love you now, but it's, uh, I don't know. They done messed it up now. They done messed it up. And now they feel like you pushing their buttons and they mad at you. I don't know. This person is unrealistic. So just for that... I, I personally say it's a no. You do what you want, baby. Go, you know, it's your life. I love you. You know, it's always high vibes, love, and light. But, mm, no. Absolutely not. Po absolutely not. <laughs> okay, baby, I love you so much. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.